The top 10 worst episodes in MLP you wouldn't want to be in. And before you ask, I totally stole this off the top 10 worst anime to live in. And to be perfectly clear, this isn't the worst episodes, not at all. It's just, I love to destroy the idea Equestria is this magical candy land, this amazing heaven of a place where nothing terrible ever happens. Why? Because I'm an asshole! Suited for success. Imagine, if you will, the same time you decided to help out all your friends at the same time, they all decided to be horrendous pains in the ass. Just imagine it, because this would never happen in the real world. Now imagine at the same time these friends, while being a pain in the ass, ultimately cost you your hopes and dreams, because once again this would never happen in the real world. Sorry, I'm clearly having too much fun with this one. I guess if you got to be one of those pains in the ass, this wouldn't be so bad. But then you'd have to live with the guilt of knowing you drove one of your friends off the deep end for a day or two. Baby cakes. It's bad enough to be looking after kids. But imagine if those kids had strong magical abilities that you were ill-equipped to handle. I suppose this wouldn't be so bad so long as you didn't end up being in Pinky's role. Some pony to watch over me. Now, we all had to prove ourselves to our parents or caregivers as being responsible. Or ideally, we should have. Now, some of us have had to clearly push extra hard to prove that responsibility. I'm sure a fair share of us made rash, misguided decisions to prove this. There is the matter of the fire swamp that looks like hell itself. The chimera that looks like a rampaging beast straight out of hell trying to eat you. And on top of all that, the chimera isn't even charming. So the last word you'll hear in this is the uncultured banter of an idiot arguing with itself. The best night ever. Let's put this into perspective. You spent two to three months, and bear with me, I'm not a time expert on the show, getting hyped and prepared that the Grand Galloping Gallop turned out to be a total dud. Yeah, I know what you're saying. From the outside, that doesn't look so bad. No one is in mortal danger, no one's life is ruined, but this was supposed to be the best night of your life. Only to end up being a big giant bowl of meh. Hell, just imagine 90% of the AAA games released. More the last three Star Wars movies, and on top of all that, this is now happening to you in Equestria. Three's a crowd. Alright, this one's for all you Congoers. You get all hyped to go to this amazing magical convention about a stallion of legend, and you're going to put your best foot forward to bond with your in-law over it. And a chaos-driven deity shows up to make you wait on him hand and foot. Imagine if in the real world you had tickets to BronyCon and your boss made you not go to take care of him and you found out he was fucking with you. That's essentially Discord's role in this episode. That super boss abusing his position to make you make his life easier simply because he can. Swarm of the Century. Oh, hello, little demon spawn. Super locusts have flooded your town and switched from eating all the food to eating your house. Party poopers. Okay, virtually everything from three is a crowd, but now in addition to bending over backwards, the people that you're trying to make happy never are, and on top of that are destroying your stuff, possibly endangering your friend's well-being. Again, keep in mind, how much patience would you have to put up with the yaks? Party of One. Okay, let me pitch this at you. You're in a wonderful, amazing equestrian life. Suddenly, no one wants to be around you. At all. No one. You're completely cut off from this amazing world while it continues on around you, and you're not invited. Obviously, for this to be a nightmare, you wouldn't know what's going on. But imagine the mind job that would be. Lesson Zero. Ah, Lesson Zero. A solution in search of a problem. A truly terrifying thing in Equestria is that the inhabitants are so drama-driven that they literally create their own problems when there are none. The meaning of that all? There will never be peace in Equestria. It's about time. Think about this one. Your future self comes to you in a panic, or much more likely Twilight Sparkle with this problem using some ancient, possibly forbidden magic to manipulate time shortly after the gatekeeper literally of hell itself shows up in town to wreak havoc. That's the start of your day. We're assuming you don't automatically know the solutions to all of these problems, so there's no merry suing your way through it. 
I'm sure a lot of you will point out, well, that feels a bit contrived. Well, yes, it would be a virtual hell where practically the worst case scenario happens. So tell me, which place closer resembles Equestria to you? 